Baddies, Grunts Admin, Sweepin' Anna Gaming here with more of my Pokemon Soul Silver Randomizer Nuzlocke. And I did, in fact, do some training because we're getting ready to take on the second gym in this episode. I got everybody up to level 15, and we got the egg here, which is actually pretty close to hatching. So, actually, I'm gonna kind of make a cut here. Um, in the beginning of the episode, I'm gonna run around until the egg hatches so we can find out if it's randomized or not, and then we'll continue on with the episode, so I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. That took a little bit longer than I was expecting, but we're gonna find out what is in this egg. An Arbok! Alrighty then! Well, we're gonna nickname this Arbok, and... Ooh, it's a female Arbok. Alright, so I'm gonna go over into the comments for my most recent episode that's been published, which is actually two episodes ago. That's right. In spite of what I said, I'm still recording ahead of time. I know I said I was gonna wait so I could um, see, you know, people's comments on the more recent episode, but I just got so excited. I trained my Pokemon. I'm all set for the gym. I wanted to find out what was in that egg. So, one second. All right, here we go. Episode four is the most recent one up. Of course, this is episode six, so, you know, episode five would be the previous one, but it's not up yet. All right, um, who do we have? Let's see new people who commented. Um, we have, ooh, that's an interesting name. Interesting, interesting. Well, out of the new ones, I kind of like Copetta a la banana. Very Italian sounding name. Um, this individual, I don't know who, I don't know whether you're a boy or a girl, but you do have um, Double D from Ed, Ed and Eddie as your uh, avatar, which good choice. But anyway, Copetta a la banana says that your favorite Pokemon revealed for Sun and Moon so far is Picky Peck because it's so freaking cute. It is very cute. I'm curious to see what kind of thing it evolves into. But anyway, we're gonna call this thing not Banana, although Banana Snake would kind of be a thing, but because I'm, well actually I'm sweet, I'm not Banana, but I'm gonna save that in case I ever run into a Tropius or something. I'm gonna call you Copetta. There we go. Cop nice and Italian. Copetta. Duh. I'm actually not sure what that means, though. I mean, I think it means a little cup, right? I don't know. I don't remember. So we have Copetta. But, of course, Copetta is going to be at level 1. But yeah, that answers that. The eggs are randomized, which means static encounters are probably randomized as well. Now, we hatched this egg. Actually, we hatched the egg in Azalea Town, so it's a perfectly legit encounter, too. But I was going to count all gift Pokemon and eggs no matter what anyway. So we've got higher speed, and it's got extra sensory. That is pretty cool. But we're gonna deposit Copetta for now because I don't want to go into another training montage to get her all set up. We might add her later because she is really pretty cool. But for now, I'm gonna replace her with another team member that I did spend some time training up, and you guys will see that momentarily. I'm gonna go over to the PC here. Going a little slow here, here we go. Okay, yes, we have Michael the Charmeleon, who I also raised to level 15 along with everybody else, but of course I put the egg back in the party so we could see what it would hatch into. But for now we're gonna stick with this. We're gonna go, well the one other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to Kurt's house and pick up um, the whatever the Pokeball was he made, which should be the Heavy Ball, and then we'll give him some more Apricorns and then after that, we'll go over to the gym, find out what type that is. I'm excited to find out what type the gym is. I just hope we have a Pokemon that can take on that type. I guess we'll find out. Anyway, let's go and get our Apricorn here. Alright, now over to Kurt real quick. This sort of miscellaneous stuff here. Oh yeah, um, so the question of the day today... I guess I've been I've been watching a couple of Let's Plays of Pokemon Uranium, which is a fan-made Pokemon game that was recent, recently released. Um, I, had, I had watched Let's Plays of the demo of it as well, and I thought it was pretty interesting. So um, what I want to know is, 
Do you have a favorite fan-made slash ROM hack Pokemon game? Um, I'm not sure. I've always, I've always thought that ROM hacks kind of fall a bit short, and the fan-made games are always really cool, but most of them are unfinished. Now that Uranium is actually finished, um, it could be kind of interesting. But I'm not sure if I'd say I have a favorite or not. I tend to enjoy the original games, like the actual official released games. Uh, I don't know which way to go. I guess this way so we can fight this dude. Um, but I don't know what my favorite would be. But you know, you can answer too if you're if you don't if you're not really a fan of the fan-made games, if you're more into the original releases, that's fine as well. Cuz I think I would say I'm in that category, although I have mad respect for the amount of work that goes into some of the ROM hacks, but especially the fan-made games. They're usually made in something like RPG Maker, and you know, they'll reuse maybe certain um, assets from Pokemon games, but a lot of the stuff they make is either from scratch or heavily, like, a lot of it is from scratch. So, that is, you know, that earns a lot of respect in one way. I know they're not technically legitimate games, and so it's a little bit sketchy, legally speaking, but, you know, I give a little hat tip to anybody who's able to do that. So we've got this trainer has two Iglybuff. I'm assuming this means that this is going to be a normal type gym. Which means we don't really have anything to take these things out on the offensive side, but on the defensive side, Tiny is a pretty sure bet. I did not mean to lead with Tackle, but, and we got Cute Charmed, unfortunately. Well, let's see if we can get another hit off. No, we can't. If we get Sung to Sleep, that's it. I'm switching. Ugh, I swear. Okay. Um, infatuation is supposed to only work 50% of the time? It seems like more. Of course, it's kind of like confusion. It seems like you hit yourself in confusion more times than you don't most of the time, unless you get really lucky. Alright, so let's switch... It went down too far. Let's switch... Tiny to the front. Actually, Sargina would do pretty well as well. But let's go ahead and see... I want to see where we end up as far as... Let's see, who, who will take us to the front? This one will. I want to see what other types of Pokémon there are. I mean, I'm assuming these are all going to be normal types, based on the types have been consistent, at least in the first gym. So in this gym so far, it seems to be normal type, but let's test what other sorts of normal types we can find. Because on the one hand, okay, it's kind of nothing is weak to normal. But we don't have any fighting type attacks, so we have to just rely on being able to resist everything. And an Azurel. That could be dangerous to Tiny, but actually, I think we're alright, because the thing is only level 7. Yeah. And a Sentret. Um, let's... actually, let's also Metal Claw. And Porygon. Alright, well, Porygon is a tiny bit more intimidating, I suppose. Potentially, like, because it can learn special attacks. It doesn't have a whole lot of stab to be worried about, though. There goes that agility. Probably useless, because it's just going to go for agility again. Okay, Porygon is down. Defeated Trainer Kim. And let's go... What would happen if I just left it? I'd get to fight those twins in a double battle. You know what? Let's do it. Okay. I don't know who's out second. Actually, is... is, uh, Rolly? Rolly is still out second, I think. So we'll do alright, I think. Kim and Zoe, Ratata and Ratata. All right, let's see. We don't have anything that hits both of them, I guess. So we'll just do this. Oh, Powder Snow hits both of them. All right. But not necessary because we are gonna one shot with Tiny.
Oh wait, um, yeah, well, well, let's try for a tackle, I guess, actually. Save a little bit of PP. I mean, we could always go back and heal, but I want to just go and fight Bugsy. Okay, we defeated cheerleaders Kim and Zoe. I noticed with randomizers, when trainers' names are randomized, a lot of- there's a lot of recurring names. Um, maybe it depends on the game, but I've seen Kim in this game, I've seen in someone else's game Tia. In another game, I saw Jessica was a really common randomized name. Oh no, don't go back! Oh, man. I forgot, I have to undo the thing. But that's okay, I guess we're gonna fight this guy. No, we're not. Okay, never mind, we're going back. That's right. Um... Well, let's flip this switch. Just so we can fight this guy. Then we'll have to kind of go back and retroactively fix the puzzle. But I was gonna fight this guy no matter what. I saved all the slow poke, that's correct. Oh, you're grown-up Pokemon, are they? Let's see your grown-up Pokemon. Doduo, not exactly grown-up. I guess most bug types by level 13 would be all grown-up. Oh, the other thing is I want to make this not a very long episode, so I think after we beat the gym, that's going to be it. Um, mainly because I have a place to be. I'm actually running a little bit behind schedule, but like I said, I mean, all signs point to maybe I shouldn't have recorded this morning. Because I'm recording so far in advance anyway. Like, at least a week and a half in advance. But I'm just so, like I said, I'm so excited. I was so excited to find out what type I was going to face and all that stuff. So, I don't know. I'm- I was just- I couldn't help it. I wanted to see what would happen next. Like, I could train my Pokémon, but that was about it. Yeah, this gym with the- with the 3D is getting kind of, um, slow running. You notice the battles run like they should. But we have, we have a little bit more trouble in the overworld with these big 3D models. But it's alright. The battles are the most important thing anyway. Alright, let's make sure everybody's fully healed just in case. Only a couple HP per Pokemon. Oh, you know what? Did I even talk to Kurt? I think I did, but I didn't get... I didn't um, have him make new Pokeballs, so we'll do that. But first, Bugsy. I'm Bugsy! I never lose when it comes to Bug-type Pokemon! My research is going to make me the authority on Bug-type Pokémon. Let me demonstrate what I've learned from my studies. All right, Bugsy, if that is your real name. Or your randomized name is Antoinette. All right, we're getting fancy up in here. Trainer Antoinette with an x -Bloud. Okay, you are not joking around. I'm gonna actually lead with a mud slap. Oh, he's setting up, or she, I guess. We are gonna, hmm. Let's do one more. Oh my gosh. We resist and everything, and there's no physical and special split. No, there is in this generation, that's right. Um, so actually he's using Howl, raising his attack. Most of his attacks would be special, I think, Exploud, right? I don't know, I'm not taking a chance. I'm gonna try to go for an attack boost. Nope, we're not getting an attack boost. Uproar. Okay, well at least, okay, we're fine. It doesn't get the Howl boost, so we're good. And we resist normal four times. Okay, we get the attack boost. It had a Citrus Berry, which I guess is okay. Man, he had a fully evolved Pokemon, right? I guess it was something that would be fairly on par with Scyther, which is what he would normally have. I believe he leads with Scyther in this game. Because that is his highest level, 17. Okay, after taking that on, we should have a better time now. Yeah, Azurel. Something on par with a Kakuna, really. Alright, let's go ahead. Metal Claw should not be a problem. Almost one shot, not quite. Let's go ahead and tackle. Oh, going for the Super Potion. I guess that makes sense. You didn't get to use it on your Exploud. Okay, that got interesting. That could have gotten scary. Fortunately, it wasn't scary. But yeah. Okay, Sentret. Let's stay in and kick some butt with Tiny. Alright, here we go. Let's see if a Metal Claw... We only got one attack boost, actually. This thing won't take it out. Oh, it will. Okay. And Tiny is gonna grow to level 17. Good for you, Tiny. That is the end of it indeed, Bugsy, or Antoinette. 
Whoa, amazing! You're an expert on Pokemon! My research isn't complete yet. Yeah, you know, I might be a better Bug-type trainer if I didn't use Normal-type Pokemon, but let's ignore that for now. Anyway, we got the Hive Badge, and the benefits of the Hive Badge are... whatever. We can use Cut, basically. Oh yeah, the other thing I wanted to do is we have a Rival Battle. Which I, uh, I, I realized you can actually trigger the Rival Battle before the Gym Battle. But I didn't want to do that. I wanted to get the badge first. So actually, this episode is, let's see, how long is it? It's a little shorter. And I, I need it to be a little bit shorter. But we can go ahead... Let's lead with Enderstar. We can go ahead and do that battle after we do a couple other things. Actually, we can probably do it without healing, even. Because I don't want to take that extra trip to the Pokemon Center. So let's go back this way. The little spider crawling around the little web. Doopy doopy doo. Okay, and we should be able to go back. Hopefully this will just take us back. Do 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 do. I think this was the only one, right? Alright, yeah, we're at the beginning again. Okay, so. The one thing I want to do before I forget is I want to give Kurt some more Pokeballs. So that at the beginning of the next episode, or some more apricorns, I guess. So at the beginning of the next episode, we can properly pick some more up. Just so... Alright, Kurt's house. Yes, I know it's Kurt's house. And I hopefully will select properly and get multiple apricorns selected this time. Yes, I do. I guess let's go for heavy balls again, because let's see, love ball. I don't remember what the white one does. The, the heavy ball is the only one I can remember for sure. Why is it? Wait. Give to... Oh, oh right, because I was selecting no by default. So that's why. Okay. All right, now we're going to take on our rival, who is, of course, sour. Sweet and sour. All right, let's do this. Tell me something. Is it true that Team Rocket has returned? What? You beat them? Ha! Quit lying. Are you serious? Then let's see how good you are. Alrighty. Well, I guess we did have to do the Slowpoke Well thing before we um, triggered our rival battle, but we did not actually have to <laughs> lazy sour. I'm sorry. That's just funny. And we face a Smoochum. Not the best thing for us, actually, but we're going to see how we do. It actually did a decent chunk. Uh, we're confused. Alright, we're not gonna stick around for this anymore. Let's see. Oh, let's go into Michael, actually. We have not really debuted Michael yet. But Michael is all set for this. Oh yeah, Powder Snow. Nice try. Not gonna get the freeze on a fire type. I'm pretty sure you can't freeze a fire type, right? Can you freeze an ice type? I think you shouldn't be able to freeze an ice or a fire type. But I think it was added at a certain point that you could not... Oh, he's got Croconaw. You know... We don't have anything great against it, so let's go into Enderstar. Actually, it's gonna have Bite. It's gonna have Bite. And we have terrible defense. Let's go into... Sargina instead. It did go for Bite. Yeah, because we also have a defense-lowering um, nature on Enderstar. So yeah, um, his, his starter got de-randomized, I guess, is how, is how you would call it? I don't know. Gonna get five? Oh, no. We did get a crit on one of those. Alright, we should be good. Let's go ahead and scratch. So yeah, he has one non-randomized Pokemon, which is fine. Because what was, what was it normally? Ooh, why not? Actually... Think we should stay in? Let's see what it tries to go for. Let's give Sargina a potion. And see what it tries to do. I believe this is his last Pokemon? It went for a mirror coat. Alright, well... I should have switched out and switched back in so I could get a fake out off. Okay, good. It went for safeguard. If it had gone for counter, that would have been the end of things. So I, I played a little bit risky there, admittedly. Now, I'm not sure, like, Pokemon like Why Not, 
that he has that aren't evolved. Um. Oh man, I only I only beat you because my Pokemon were weak. It sounds like we should call you salty instead of sour. Jeez, I hate the weak. Pokemon trainers. It doesn't matter who or what. I hate to see them hanging around. That goes for Team Rocket too. They think they're big and tough as long as they're in a group. But get them alone and they're weak. I hate them all. Hate, 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 hate. Jeez, Sour. You are aptly named. Alright, so what I was saying is, so his Pokemon are randomized to, like, he has Why Not. When it reaches a certain level, will it evolve? I don't know. Or, like, let's say he had a Pokemon on his team, like, say he had a Zubat or whatever. And it was supposed to evolve. You know, it evolves when you fight him a certain time. So does that mean... Like, if it's an evolved Pokemon, will it just be randomized into a new Pokemon? Because it's technically a different Pokemon. So let's say for Zubat, he had Why Not. Um, when it becomes a Golbat, will he have, like, a different randomized Pokemon? Will he have a, a Wobbuffet? Or will he get a Wobbuffet, you know, after a certain level? I'm not sure how that works. Let's go for that. Got plenty of potions. Do we need to get a few more Pokeballs? Let's get five more. Okay, so all that's left to do is go ahead and heal. Um, you know what? I might want to... I might want to put... Um, what's her name on the team? I can't think of her name. Uh, what did I just name her? Oh yeah, Copetta. I might want to put Copetta, the Arbok, on our team so we can start leveling her up. Because, well... I was gonna say, the Ilex Forest has really low level Pokemon, but we should probably wait and see what our encounter is, because I want to see what types of Pokemon, what kind of Pokemon we can find there, what kinds of levels and all that, because um, it could be a scary place to train. We might, we might run into something that has Pursuit, and Copetta is only level 1. Although maybe I do have some time, um, I do have some, like, I could wait, for example, um, because I'm so far ahead of schedule. And I could probably train up Copetta a little bit. So we'll see what I do. Anyway, guys, in the next episode, we're going to take on the Ilex Forest. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like and also leave a comment. Answer the question of the day, which is, do you have a favorite Pokemon ROM hack or fan-made game? And, um, also subscribe if you are not yet a Grunts Team Eclipse. Also, check out my channel, Sweeping Nanny Gaming. If you like my stuff on here, you'll probably like my stuff there as well. And that's going to do it. So guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next episode of my Pokemon Soul Silver Randomizer Nuzlocke.